Good night, teacher. Hi. Good night, guys. How are you doing? Thank you guys for being on time. Good night, Gloria, and good night, Aimeam. Good night, teacher. How are you guys? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, thank you for asking. We have our Friday today. Bueno, tomorrow's Friday, pero hoy es nuestro último día de clases de esta semana, so it's our Friday. And that's great. And we are going to begin section five today. Solo vamos a dar un ratito para que se unan los demás. Les vamos a poner a text ahorita. We're going to text them right now. Hello, good night, Emma. Good night, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. How about you? I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. Good night, Stanley. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. All right. So I don't know if you noticed, guys, but um, they said that we are having another thunderstorm coming, um, that it is coming in 48 hours towards Honduras, que va a llegar en 48 horas en Honduras. So probably it will be here next week so that you guys can be aware of that para que estén al tanto de eso in case you guys need to prepare for the storm ya segunda parte de, de, de ETA right so in case you guys need to be prepared for that and to, uh, the next week will be our last week of this module guys and we will be done we uh, we'll be starting section five today. Vamos a comenzar la section five hoy. Y vamos a terminar la section four. So guys, at this point, I have been asked to tell you that you need to be a este punto at least comenzando la section four. Para que trabajen la section four en estos días. Y ya next week, you can begin working on section five. And if you already are working on section five, then that's excellent. Eso es super bien. Si ya están en la section five, super good, super excellent. Um, let me see. ¿Qué más les iba a decir? So, yeah, just get going on the platform, guys, para saber cómo van. Um, I hope that if you guys have any questions, así como hizo Ruth en el grupo, we can, we will have a brief space al final today para solve any questions que you might have about um, the platform or any knowledge check or anything that you may need help with so that we can get working on that. All right, so we are nine people right now. Estamos Brenda, Aime, Emma, Gloria, Carla, Katia, Stanley, and Wilfredo. Excellent, guys. Thank you very much for being on time. And it is 9.05, 9.05 minutes. Now, guys, I do want to ask you, Porque es algo que acabo de ver, que se unió Fabrizio, excellent. I do want to ask you guys, do you guys know, did you guys know about when you are going to use in for months and on for days? ¿Sabían que lo ocupamos así? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, I'm glad. Hay alguien que no sepa cómo si se ocupa así? Excellent. Okay, and for years? 
y para years? In. In, that's correct. Excellent, guys. I'm very glad that you guys know that. That's very good. And we can skip that. Ya ven, no dan clases porque no quieren. Excellent. Now, we are 12 people right now. Let's see. Carlos joined. And also, who else? Ruth. Excellent. Very well. So let me go ahead and share my screen, guys. It is 907. And today we are going to start reviewing questions with how. ¿Qué es how? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué tan? That's correct. En este contexto, para decir how far, how big, how high, es que tanto de algo, right? Y solo how, como. So how are you? ¿Cómo estás? Right? How is your brother? ¿Cómo está tu hermano? But when using it for this scenario or for this context, so we are going to go ahead and say, ¿Qué tanto? How far? ¿Qué tan lejos? How big? ¿Qué tan grande? How high? ¿Qué tan alto? How deep? ¿Qué tan profundo? How long? ¿Qué tan largo? How hot, que tan caliente. How cold, que tan helado. And we can use it for many other different things. How, um, let's see. ¿Qué más? How dense, que tan denso. How, oh, se me ha olvidado como se dice esta palabra. How, mm, oh my God, how, guys. How tall se puede ocupar. How tall, que tan alto, yes. How high, en el sentido de que um, we use tall para personas, right? How tall is your brother? How tall is Carla? How tall am I? Y, y high para cosas, right? The shelf is high. This, uh, this closet is high. Y así. Allow me one moment, guys. Ah, yes, era la palabra narrow. Okay, how narrow, estrecho. How narrow is it? ¿Qué tan estrecho es? Narrow. Narrow. All right, so we are going to go ahead and read the sentences, guys. And can I please have. Let's see, vamos a ver también sus skills para leer números, which is very important, para que no nos quedemos pensando. So, can I please have Aime read this first, um, this first sentence. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about two thousand kilometer Australia or Australia Australia <laughs> Australia that's correct it's about 2,000 kilometers and 2,000 kilometers it's 1.200 miles so los miles son menos que los kilometers guys let's remember that now can I please have Wilfredo read the next one Okay, teacher, how about it Singapore? It is uh, 648 square kilometers. Thank you very much, Wilfred. That's perfect. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, and that is 250 square miles. Perfect. Now, can I please have Gloria read the next one? Uh, how high is Mount Scoot? Is um, oh, um, uh, uh, Um, 
la cantidad. Uh -huh. No la puedo pronunciar. Yes, yeah, so that's 3,740. That's 3,740. It is, three. vamos a poner así. Se la voy a poner aquí. It's okay. 3,740, right? 40. Go ahead. Dale, Gloria. Okay. How, how hard in months put it three hundred and forty meter high. Excellent. How high is Mount Cook? It is three thousand. Recordemos, guys, thousand mil seven hundred ciento and forty meters high or 12,250 feet high. Can I have now next, Lisette, read the next one. Hello. When is Mm, pongamos atención. ¿Qué pasó? Esta. Hello. All right. That's fine. I'll only one moment. Okay, can I please have Katia read the next one? Okay, how deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep. Thank you very much, Katia. Thank you very much. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,000, uh, I'm sorry, 1,900 meters deep, and that is 6,250 feet. Excellent. Now, can I please have, see, can I please have Jose read the next one? Hello. Hello, teacher. Singapore. Uh, no, the next one. Oh. This one. Oh, okay. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about uh, 500. 960 kilometers long. 5,000. 5,970. 5, okay. Yes, so how long is the Mississippi River? How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long. And that's 3,710 miles, guys. Okay. And Did now... Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi here. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's see. Now, can I please have... Can I please have Ruth read the next one? Okay, teacher. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It Get, get up to about 23 grados, no sé cómo se dice. Degrees. Celsius. 
Excellent, Ruth. Thank you very much. That was excellent pronunciation. Thank you. Excellent. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius or 74 Fahrenheit. Now, guys, si van a Estados Unidos, Estados Unidos, el único país que se rehúsa a usar the metric system, el sistema métrico, so they still in 2020 use Fahrenheit degrees for some reason. So uh, you're going to want to understand that. Va, va a querer entender el sistema um, de, de, de esos grados, de grados Fahrenheit, porque solo eso ocupan, and they refuse, solo ocupan Fahrenheit y ocupan miles, y feet en vez de cent, eh, inches, en vez de centímetros, feet and miles, a feet en lugar de metros, um, miles en lugar de kilómetros, and Fahrenheit en lugar de Celsius. Which I don't understand, but to each its own. Um, let's see, and can I please have Hugo read the last one? How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius. Excellent, Hugo. Thank you very much. Now, guys, ¿hay alguna palabra? En estas preguntas que no conozcamos, or that you would like to review? Or is everything clear? Yeah, it's clear. Everything clear. Excellent, guys. So yeah. you might notice that in estas, um, in estas oraciones, En estas tres, we answer with the word that we are being asked about. ¿Por qué? Porque si nos preguntan, how big is Singapore? ¿Qué tan grande es Singapore? Estamos diciendo, it's 648 square kilometers. Sabemos que eh, son kilómetros cuadrados de, pues, el tamaño del país, right? Si nos preguntan, ¿qué tan lejos está Nueva Zelanda de Australia? 2,000 kilómetros, Nueva Zelanda de Australia. Um, how hot is Auckland in the summer? ¿Qué tan caliente es Auckland en el verano? Y nos dice, sube la temperatura hasta 23 Celsius. But, si preguntamos, how high is Mount Cook? How, de how deep is the Grand Canyon? How long is the Mississippi River? Si podemos responder solo, it's 3,740 meters what hi um square okay so tenemos en esas tres circunstancias que especificar cuando nos pregunten how high how deep or how long then we add it at the end solo para dejar claro que de profundidad de longitud o de altura right so how high is mount cook it's uh, it's three no, thousand no pregunta, teacher. yeah no pregunta. Eh, digamos, en el caso de utilizar jalón, también se puede utilizar, por ejemplo, cuando viene un turista acá, que le pregunta, how long do you want to stay here? ¿Cuánto tiempo como estarás aquí, va? Ah, no, en puede? ese caso, en ese caso no, porque nos van a responder uh, for three weeks, right? Nos van a responder con una medida que nosotros entendemos que es tiempo, tres semanas, por ocho días. En este caso, porque estamos hablando de distancias. Pero, pero, sí, sí, pero sí, pero el jalón se puede, se puede utilizar. Ah, también. sí, sí, definitivamente. O sea, la yes. pregunta es eso, o sea, jalón. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, perfecto. Es cuando yo cuando trabajé en un aeropuerto, generalmente le preguntamos nosotros al, al turista, o al, el, el, bueno, el que viene de, de, de países que hablan inglés, y es la, la frase más, quizás la más conocida para nosotros, para mm -hmm. preguntarle por eso. Pero también se puede utilizar para eso, ¿verdad? para preguntar parte de, de, de estadía. Sí. Correcto. You can say, how long are you going to stay here, Bea? How long are you planning to stay here? How, lo how long are you staying here? Yes, yes, that's correct. Thank you, teacher. Of course. Eh, y, y toda la razón, es lo más común para preguntar, ¿cuánto tiempo te vas a quedar? How long are you going to stay here? Or how long are you, are you staying here? Yes, excellent. Excellent question. Yes. 
All right, guys. So, y si no tienen alguna otra preguntita, then we are going to do a review on this. Now, let's see. I'm going to make a question in español. Y alguien me la va a decir en inglés. Y la siguiente persona a la que le pregunte me va a dar la respuesta, right? So, for example, yo quiero decir, um, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, Ricardo. Si yo quiero saber, Ricardo, cómo preguntar a ver si puedo. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. ¿Qué tan alto es el volcán? ¿Cómo podría hacer esa pregunta? How high? Yeah. How high is, is volcano? Volcano. Is the volcano. That's correct. The volcano. El volcán. Yeah. How yeah. high is the volcano? Excellent. So now. The next person that I am going to ask, for example, Fabricio. Fabricio, yes, how high is the volcano? Y aquí es un número inventado, ¿verdad? no nos vamos a poner a buscar nada ni a googlear nada. Un número inventado. Con la respuesta, aquí tenemos cómo hacer la respuesta. ¿Cómo lo responderíamos? It's, uh, it's uh, 5,000. Uh, 500 uh, meters high. Excellent. Excellent, Fabricio. Thank you very much. That's perfect. It's 5,500 meters Thanks. high. Perfect. So that's, esa es la dinámica que vamos a hacer, guys. Voy a hacer la pregunta y de ahí la siguiente persona me la va a contestar con números inventados. That's fine. So that was the first one. Let's put it right here. This was Ricardo and Fabricio. Lo vamos a poner aquí para irnos acordando. Ricardo y este fue Fabricio. Excellent. Now, can I please have Stanley? Now, Stanley, si yo quisiera preguntar ¿Cómo decir? ¿Qué tan lejos está la universidad? Hello. Lejos. Uh -huh. oh. How far is the, is the universe? That's correct. How far is the university? And can I please have I may answer the question. How far is the university? Hello. Okay. Uh, can I please have Emma answer the question? How far is the university? Los dientes teachers se me fue la luz aquí me acabo de volver a conectar. Mm, that's okay, I understand. Now, in that case, can I please have Carla? How far is the university? It's uh, 4,000 meter height. High? Uh, meters high. 
¿Por qué high? No, es long. ¿Por qué long? Eh, no, no sería, sí. Sería kilómetros. Estamos midiendo distancias. Yeah, o oh, meters, igual está bien, meters, kilómetros, pero no vamos a decir ni high, ni deep, ni long, porque en ninguna parte de la pregunta me lo están preguntando, que si es high, deep, o long. Si no, solo dice how far. Entonces, okay. cuando nos diga how far, en este caso, como en el ejemplo, nos dice entre dos lugares, solo damos el ejemplo. Pero aquí, como solo nos dice how far, no nos dice entre dos lugares, sino que solo qué tan lejos. Entonces, asumo que es qué tan lejos desde donde yo estoy. Vamos a decir, it's 400 meters away. Ok. Excellent. Now, this was Stanley. Oh, my God. Ok. And this was Carla. Excellent. Very well. Now, can I please have Carlos? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you very much, Carlos. Now, you're welcome, teacher. Y yo pregunto, let's see. ¿Qué tan grande es la piscina? How big is the pool? Excellent. How big is the pool? Excellent. Thank you very much, Carlos. And can I please You're welcome, have teacher. Dennis answer this question? Hello. Hello, teacher. Um... What Dennis? Or uh, what Dennis? You, you, since you um, you answered first, you can go ahead. <laughs> okay. How big is the pool? Mm -hmm. Okay. It is, I don't know, um, 200 square kilometers, square meters. Excellent. It is 200 square meters. And this was Dennis C. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dennis. Alguien me está escribiendo el chat. Let's see who is that. Good move. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see just one more example. Can I please have Tati? Now, Tatiana, si yo quisiera preguntar ¿Qué tan largo? ¿Qué tan larga es la calle? How long is the is the street? How long's the street? Yeah. How long's the street? How long's the road? Excellent, Tatiana. Let's see. And can I please have Jose answer this question? Yes, teacher. Is two kilometer kilometer long. It is two kilometer kilometer long. Thank you very much. That's perfect. It is two kilometers long. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Those have been perfect examples. And, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta ahora que hemos hecho estos examples? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre cómo formularlos? ¿Preguntas o respuestas? En la, eh, en la de bit, eh, siempre se dice square. No, not necessarily, no necesariamente. Puede ser, este, en este caso, porque estamos preguntando por un país, right? Pero puede ser solo, it is, um, si es, por ejemplo, una pelota, puede ser, it is 
20 meters in diameter, in diámetro, según lo que estemos midiendo, right? Para saber en qué medida. All right, alguna otra pregunta, guys? Or is everything clear con este tema? Teacher, no, yeah? no. no sé si vamos a ver el, 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 bueno, yo tuve un problema y lo puse en el chat. Ay, eh, yes. Ajá, no, no lo pude resolver de ninguna manera. No sé dónde es identificar el error. Of course, let's review that right now. ¿Qué punto es? Es, es 4.13... El número cuatro. Okay, give me one moment. We're going to review that right now. Mm -mm -mm. This one, right? Yes. Excellent. So let's review the exercise. It says, write the questions to these answers. Remember to use how. So, for example, here we have. Nos dice... It's tanto kilometer, square kilometers, 975 meters, 6,670 kilometers. And the answer for this one is Washington DC gets up to about 32 degrees Celsius, 90 Fahrenheit in the summer. So we would have to ask ourselves, ¿qué nos están diciendo? how hot does it get, right? So let's review, veamos aquí en nuestro cuadro. Como veíamos, ¿qué es lo que decía? Let's go back to it very quickly. Y vamos a review this information, guys. Oops, I'm sorry. Here we have. So aquí tenemos un ejemplo de esa pregunta. How hot is Auckland in the summer? Y vamos a ver, voy a ver lo que me puso en WhatsApp. Here we go. It says, how hot is it in the winter, right? We have the example. It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius. So now you were putting, how hot is Washington DC? Okay, that sounds correct. Probablemente debe ser algo de In the puntuación. summer. How, how hot is Washington DC in the summer? In the summer, yes, that's correct. One moment, que lo hice. Okay, here we go. No, this is not you, this is you. 4.3. Excellent. Okay, let's review it right now. And we are going to put it just as you put it right here. Let's see. So let's just, a veces son cosas de puntuación. Let's review. You put, usted puso how hot is Washington, Washington. Mm -hmm. D.C. Okay, yes. Punto coma. Mm. In the summer. La coma no la puse. Nada, eso es, eso es una sí, puntuación. Sí. Entonces está correcto, es una okay. cosa de puntuación. Ok, thanks. That's correct. Si lo vemos ahorita, eso es, ¿ve? Es la cosa de puntuación. Ok, thanks. Yeah, so you were correct. Excellent. Teacher. Yeah. 
yo también tengo ese mismo problema, pero yo le pongo todo punto y coma, así como está, idéntico, y me lo pone mal a la plataforma. ¿Con cuáles, por ejemplo? Para que podamos Esa revisar misma. una. Esa misma. ¿Y esta sí la está Acabas poniendo? Ir, bueno, sí. Mm, mándeme screenshot, porfa, para yo poder <ríe> reportarlo. Va, de acuerdo. Mándeme screenshot de cómo lo está poniendo. Ah, correcto. Yo se lo envío. Ok, thank you. Gracias. All right, guys. So now, let's go back here. And we are going to start on section five, guys. Please work on section four in estos días so that you are on time para empezar la section five next week. O si la pueden comenzar ya, then that would be Awesome. So let's do a quick review of what we are going to be seeing on section five. Vamos a estar viendo conversations about making plans para que ustedes puedan decir cómo van a hacer sus planes. Future with present continuous and be going to. Ya vamos a empezar a ver el futuro, guys. Present continuous, cosas que están sucediendo en este mismo momento. So for example, I am right now teaching. I teach. But I am right now, I am teaching. And right now, I am holding this bottle of water and I am putting it back down. Continuous. E going to. And I am going to go to sleep after this class. Yeah? Future. In el futuro. También vamos a ver conversations about, mass conversations about can and all of that. And messages with tell and ask. How do you tell someone? How do you ask someone? And finally, cell phone etiquette. How you can pick up calls, usual, cosas usuales. Que se dicen en inglés a la hora de, de contestar el teléfono. For example, en español siempre tenemos aló, aló, aló. In, in English, we don't, right? So, hello. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and start by reading this conversation, guys. So, guys, en lo que es su carga, déjenme preguntarles, ¿hay alguien que no vaya aún en la section 4? ¿Me? Yo ya inicié la section 4, hice algunos ejercicios, pero me salieron como mal. Ok, guys, si tenemos problemas, pongámoslo en el chat. And we can help ourselves. Podemos ayudarnos entre todos, ok, pero no se lo vayan a mandar, ¿verdad? No vayan a mandar la copia. Um, but you can, you guys can, los que ya vayan más adelantados también se pueden ayudar. Y si no, yo también voy a estar ahí pasando pendientes para que ya esta semana podamos avanzar section 4 y ya la otra comienza section 5 porque ya el otro jueves, guys, we are done with this module. And it is over. And you guys are off to intermediate level. Y vamos a hacer el review del final exam on Thursday. So, let's do a quick review about making plans. And we are going to go ahead and read the conversation that's right here. So, can I have two volunteers to read this, um, to read this conversation? One gal and one gentleman. Me, teacher. Excellent. ¿Quién más? One gentleman. Okay. Excellent, Ricardo. Thank you. So, Carla will be Lynn. And okay. Ricardo will be Miguel. Go ahead, guys. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to both take time. I going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call good thing. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work on some fine. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe 
We can get some dinner. Sangre. Excellent, guys. Awesome. Very good pronunciation for both of you, ambos. Very good. That was really good. So let's review this Thank conversation, you, guys. So say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. Okay, so let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. All right, guys. So this is a conversation about making plans. Pero también estamos implementando el future with I'm going to. I'm going to, but making plans. For example, no sé si ustedes recordaban, yo les daba el consejo de que you guys can, for example, estar narrando las cosas que están haciendo para agarrar fluidez y estar hablando, aunque sea con ustedes mismos y no perder la línea, la, el train of thought in English. So, for example, right now, y si yo pienso en futuro, I can Ahorita, si yo pienso sobre mí, after we finish our class, I am going to upload the classes. I'm going to upload the classes. Voy a subir las clases a YouTube. And afterwards, I am going to do um, some reports that I have to do for my job. Voy a hacer unos reportes que tengo que hacer de mi trabajo. And then I will go to sleep. Me voy a ir a dormir. I'll go to sleep. And, or maybe if I can't fall asleep, I'll watch some videos. Voy a ver unos videos and then I'll fall asleep. Y luego me, me dormiré. And tomorrow I will wake up at around 6 a.m. Alrededor de las 6 de la mañana to start my day of work. Y así ustedes pueden ponerse a hablar ustedes solos en su mente, planificando para acostumbrarse a usar el futuro. All right, guys, that's, ese solo es como un consejo que yo les puedo dar para practice. So, do you guys have any questions about this conversation? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no conozcamos o algo con lo que tengan dudas? It's all right. Afterward. What is afterward? Afterward, okay, yes. Estas son palabras de para medir el tiempo, right? So afterward, es decir, después, después de tal cosa. Como están hablando de que ellos van a ir a jugar bowling, van a ir a bowling a jugar boliche. So ella le dice, ok, que, y él le dice que van a ir a las seis. Entonces ella le dice, ok, afterward, después de hacer eso, después, maybe we can get some dinner. Después tal vez podemos eh, tener, eh, ir a cenar, right? Sí, en, sí. It, it, it sounds great. Sounds great. Suena bien. Uh, okay. Yeah. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, guys? Work until. Work until. All right, very good. I work until five. Yo trabajo hasta, until hasta. So I'm going to work until five. Voy a trabajar hasta las cinco, until hasta. Okay. Excellent, guys. So right now, for example, si yo les pregunto, you can say, La diferencia entre I'm going to y I will, ¿alguien sabe cuál es? Con I'm going to no es como de futuro, pero probabilidad y en I will I ya will es, es como seguro que lo va a hacer sí, algo. Sí. Yeah, that's correct. Ambos significan que lo voy a hacer en el futuro, pero 
I will es completamente sobre, o sea, I will, de que lo hago, lo hago, y I'm going to, lo voy a hacer, pero, pues, quizá me pase algo, no lo voy a hacer, pero I will, I will, es el nivel de seguridad. Algo así so, como, I, I will work in tomorrow morning. I will work tomorrow morning, that's correct, y I'm going to fall asleep, I'm going to go to sleep at 9 a.m., Puede, at, at 9 p.m., perdón, puede que me duerma a las 9 y media, vea, pero si yo digo, I will go to sleep at 9, a las 9 me voy a ir a dormir. Eso es el nivel de seguridad, right? Okay. Excellent, guys. So, for example, si yo pregunto, uh, let's see, Brenda, what are you going to do? Aquí lo voy a poner y vamos a hacer este exercise. What are you going to do after this class? What are you going to do after this class, Brenda? I'm going to do a sleepy. You're going to go sleep. That's very good. You're going to go sleep. All right. Si sí, vamos a decir que nos vamos a ir a dormir, guys, let's say I'm going to, podemos decir I'm going to bed or I'm going to sleep. Solo el, uh, solo I'm going to go sleeping, este sí no, guys, ¿ok? Ok. Los okay. otros dos sí. I'm going to sleep. O puedo decir ya como así un lenguaje que se ocupa como coloquialmente es se, ustedes pueden llegar a escuchar que pueden decir I'm going I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and sleep me voy a ir y me voy a acostar es como decir me voy a ir a acostar I'm gonna go and sleep me. I'm gonna go and sleep so yeah excellent so let's see let's see Katia, what are you uh, what are you going to do after this class? I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> Excellent. That's really good. See, ahorita que ya se fue el frío, we need to take showers because the yeah. heat is coming back. <laughs> Guys, para los que no estaban al comienzo de la clase, I don't know if you watched the, the news, but they are saying that another storm is coming. Que viene otra tormenta. So, uh, como la segunda parte de ETA, right? So, be prepared for next week. This is just a heads up. Uh, we are still going to have classes. Avisándoles si sí, siempre se mantienen las clases. But if you guys have any issues, please let me know so that I can report it. And it's okay if you can't make it to the class por problemas de red o algo. Porque si están diciendo que puede que venga otra. Está como reportada que it's going to be here in 48 hours, pero en Honduras. So this week in Honduras, so it's probably going to be here next week. So beware about that. Okay. Excellent. Okay, okay teacher. Thanks. Okay, All teacher. Right. And if I ask Hugo, what are you going to do after this class? Hello. I'm going to work. You're going to work? Yes. Wow, after the class? Yes, teacher, after the wow. class. What do you do for work? If you can share it, no, that's okay. Okay, I understand, that's okay. Uh, and let's see, what are teacher. you going to, yes? Uh, perdón, please. Este, eh, una, pre una pregunta. Yes. Eh, en, este, en esa pregunta que usted me hizo, eh, eh, definitivamente la respuesta tiene que ser, digamos, I'm going, I'm going to work. Por ejemplo, 
no se puede, digamos, decir, digamos, eh, eh, contestar con el quill. Ya, yeah, you can, claro que sí, yes. sí se puede. Se podría I decir. Will to go. I, will I, to will, I will go to work. I will, I will go to work. Oh. Yes, guys. Cuando usemos will, vamos a usar you, we, me, uh, I, whatever. Pronombre que este, de la persona que estemos hablando. Digamos que I plus will plus go to tal cosa. Sí, es que estamos diciendo que vamos a ir, right? Pero digamos que I will to plus verb. I will go to work. I will eat. I will go to sleep. I will drink water. I will change. I will take a shower. Como dijo Katia. Oh, I am going to take a shower. Puedo decir I will take a shower. Um, I will do my homework, etc., etc. Okay? Ok, sí, sí, este, siempre que me hagan la pregunta con Will. Uh -huh. Y si no, I'm going to go to work. Ok, ok. Thank you, teacher. Of course. Esa es la diferencia entre estos dos. I'm going to go to work. Como podemos ver, con una ocupamos el verb to be que es I am, am, y con will, no. Solo decimos I will. Porque cumple esa función de verbo. Recordemos que el verb to be no es solo un complemento, sino es un verbo en realidad de yo soy, right? o ser, el verbo ser. So, y yo digo, I am going to go to work. Y si no, I will go to work. So, now let's see. If I ask um, Fabricio, What are you going to do after this class? I'm going to watch TV with my son. Ah, oh, excellent. That's really good. Uh, let's see if I asked Emma, what are you going to do after this class? Um, I will go to eat. Excellent. You'll go to eat. I am hungry too. I already had dinner, but I'm still hungry. Let's see. What are you going to do after this class, uh, Denise Manzano? I will have the dinner. You'll have dinner. Excellent. Wow, you have dinner very late. Yo antes bien tarde también, and then... Ah, oh, and then <laughs> things happened. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. What are you going to do after this class, Wilfredo? Uh, I am going to go to my house. You're going to go to your house, excellent. Yes. Let's see, can I? I am see? work, I am working at the moment. You are working right now? Yes. Wow, my respect. Fact, you are working and studying right now. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, let's see. And what are you going to do after this class, Lisette? Okay, that's fine. Um, what are you going to do after this class, Aime? I'm going to sleep. Excellent. Yes, it's time to sleep. Now, what are you going to do after this class, Gloria? I am go going to drink water. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, drink water, guys. Please don't forget to drink water. It's the Fresco este caliente, drink water, please. Now, Stanley, what are you going to do after this class? I will go to bed. Excellent, yes, it's time to go to bed. It's getting late. Now, what are you going to do after this class, Carla?
Teacher, please, please. Yes, of course. Um, what are you going to do after this class? I'm going to my bed for so tired uh, wow. after the sleep. I understand. Every day. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, we are all tired of studying. But today is our Friday, guys, because we, well, at least with me, you don't have classes tomorrow. No sé si tienen clases aparte mañana, but today is our Friday porque ya mañana no tenemos class. So that's great. And what are you going to do after this class, uh, Ruth? Um, I will go to wash dishes. Oh, yes, that's <laughs> very important, guys. Remember to wash your dishes. No los dejen para mañana. No los van a lavar mañana. Wash them yes. today. <laughs> Excellent. Now, Carlos, what are you going to do after this class? I will go to sleep, teacher. Excellent, guys. Remember, you need to sleep. You need to sleep. It's very important. Um, and what are you going to do after this class, Jennifer? I go to sleeping. You're going to go to sleep. Okay, Jennifer, thank you. And what are you going to do after this class, Denis Castro? I'm going to play video games. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Excellent. I remember I used to play video games with my boyfriend and then he sold his PlayStation. So, uh, okay, oh. whatever. Yeah, he sold it. He sold it. So he sold the PS4 because he's buying the PS5. So yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just Very a matter nice. of time, I guess. Uh, let's see. And what are you doing? Uh, what are you going to do after this class, Tatiana? I'm going to read a book. Awesome! I love to read. What are you reading? Respira conmigo, se llama. That's great. I love to read, guys. And reading is such a great thing. You can learn so much from, uh, from reading. You can learn English from reading for once. Um, you can learn so, so much vocabulary. Nunca me voy a cansar de decírselos. Reading is just the best thing that you can do to get vocabulary. No solo estas conversations así, sino... Reading and listening. If you noticed, I sent you guys yesterday a podcast. Un podcast. Si me entienden a mí, como yo les hablo de rápido, sometime, le pueden entender a la... A, 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 you can understand the girl in the, in the podcast. El que les mandé es un link de Spotify, but uh, you can also search for it on YouTube. It's called Speak English, I believe. And it's really good that you listen to conversations so that you train your ear to what natural English sounds like. Para saber cómo suena el inglés en otro contexto, right? Porque si lo escuchamos solo en clases, nos vamos a como listen in one, listen and repeat, right? That's not how it's going to be in the real world. So, um, les recomiendo muchísimo eso y que lean para tener converse, uh, I'm sorry, para tener vocabulary. So it is 10 p.m. guys. I understand we are all tired. So we are going to finish today's uh, lesson and we are going to see each other on Monday. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Right. Okay, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I see you next week, teacher. Bye, see you next week. Okay, bye.